Well, out of there, folks. This is your host, ID Jester. Welcome back to Marvel Heroes. We've done it again here, folks. We have got us another hero, Deadpool, here who's ready to go up to level 60. If you watched last episode, um, when we did... Oh, my gosh, who was it? Uh, Rogue. I told you I only had two left. Deadpool and you Venom. Know, so after this, non, we'll be I down to just like the old. last, the very last the one. So we're actually going after Juggernaut here. We've got a little holiday thing, and then uh, as we once we finish that up, go ahead and uh, we'll probably earn enough XP on the little trip over. We're pretty close to it, anyways. I didn't want you guys to miss out on our what we're doing here. So uh, we're just following Juggernaut to go kill Juggernaut, actually, so... Uh, we should get some pretty good loot out of this, hopefully. So uh, let's talk about Deadpool as we head over there. So he's kind of a combo melee, as you can see. Um, got some melee attacks here, and he's also got some nice ranged attacks. We'll look at all the different powers here once we get a chance to actually... Uh, kill Juggernaut and get a few minutes, but this way you can actually see what we're doing as we're uh, Oh nice um, As we're progressing through you can kind of see some of the powers and then we'll uh, look at them at the end here Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, So yeah Deadpool's got a lot of commentary with his uh, With his uh, character obviously if you know much about Deadpool Kind of a wisecracker. Looks like we're almost here. There we go. So this uh, should put us over the top here, Juggernaut. You know what invulnerable yes, means? I know what invulnerable means. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Alright, now we'll throw down our grenade and now we'll get out our big, big gun. There we go, we're just lighting them up with our big gun. We're going to throw another gas grenade out there. Try to trying to figure out which juggernaut I got to hit. Probably not get run over though, that's a good idea. Mm, get out of there. So you can see, uh, as opposed to our last episode where we looked at Rogue and her terrible little lunge forward power, you can see that a Deadpool here it's a smooth, fluid animation there. There's no delay. There's none of this hopping up in the air crap. And uh, just makes him so much easier and smoother to play. That's what I was talking about when I was talking about Rogue's um, lunge forward power there. Just not being up to spec. There we go. All right. Let's see if we got anything. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. We've done it. We've made it up to level 60. Let's take a look and see if there's got anything here. Drop off all our Christmas presents and wrap them here and see if there's anything good. We did get a new brand spanking new set of fluffy ear slippers. Um, let's see, is it any better? Yeah, it looks like it is better actually. So we'll go ahead and put them in there. Plus it's level 60. So you don't have to, we won't have to spend um, money upgrading. So let's look at his power. So he has that really nice um, fluid animations. He's moving forward. He's attacking. He's He's got uh, range powers. So he's got this uh, flesh wound, which is actually one of his big boy powers. I'm sorry. Um, his basic attack is a flesh wound there. After that, the icons look the same, so it threw me up. He's got the awesome lunge of death, which is just a smooth animation. There's none of this hopping up and doing all this, you know, crazy stuff. He just goes forward. Anybody in the path takes a nice amount of damage, 27 to 40. Plus, it's got uh, add some damage rating as a movement speed for uh, five seconds. So activate this, get in there, do lots of damage. Then after that. We have the big old stab, so uh, I slide forward, I get close to the enemy, and then when I'm close, I stab him like that. Ugh, big old stab. If the enemies are away, or there's a whole bunch of them, I'm going to use this power here, which is called Shoot All the Bullets. And uh, this power really takes down the enemy pretty pretty easily. Uh, then, of course, we have the 
not so many minigun there. And you can see that that thing really um, has some really nice animation as well. If we have a nerve gas, we could throw out a little uh, little area of area of effect of gas for about five seconds. Does some damage. Uh, and then we have this where we throw out these little buffs, and uh, they're just little buffs. I can have them on the ground. Anybody can pick them up. Me or my allies, and it'll give you a buff for um, depending on which which one you pick up. There's a teddy, a hulk doe, and a wing shoe. So you might get some constitution, some toughness, or some power. And uh, yeah, I can just throw out up to eight of these at a time, I believe, is the maximum. And uh, people can, uh, allies can run up to them, pick them up, and they're going to get you a nice buff for about 17 seconds or so. 16.7, 16.8 seconds to be exact. Um... You notice I didn't mention anything about a signature bow or anything because this character hasn't been standardized to the level 52 yet. I was really going to wait on trying to get him upgraded, but I decided, well, it's um, we're trying to get all of them done, so now's the chance. I haven't really min-maxed uh, the power points or anything yet. I've just been focusing in on getting him upgraded and getting him done. Let's look at his equipment. Um, he's got some nice powers here. He actually has two different kinds of guns for the first slot. The gun with no name and the Chuck's Uzis. Um, I really like the Chuck's Uzis better because it gives you seven ranks to shoot all the bullets, which of course um, is the power we use quite a bit. The other gun gives you points in God Mode, I believe it is, right? Is it God Mode? Let's look at that again. Um, yeah, God Mode. Which is kind of a weird little power here. Um, basically, it uh, lets you cheat in the game, and um, when you're instantly healed to maximum health, invulnerable to damage, um, just everything. It's a passive power, so instead of being defeated, it's it's weird. It like takes you to like a, a like a little lag screen. It flashes lag or you know some word on the screen, and then you just come back to life. So it's kind of like a get out of dodge free power, basically. Um, and of course, uh, and you can maximize that up. Yeah, as I mentioned, he doesn't have a signature power. If he does, if I was going to make him a signature power, I'd probably use the not so mini minigun. It's a uh, pretty good power, and uh, you don't see many hear other heroes running around with uh, miniguns, so that's cool. Plus, it does an extra 40% damage to elites and bosses. Um, so, yeah, not too bad. He's got a few nice passive powers as well. Um, where he restores spirit when you're not spending them. Uh, another passive over here gives you a nice big defensive rating, a dodge rating, tenacity for 8 seconds. Um, which is a little weird because it's a passive power, so I'm not sure why it has a, uh, a duration on it. That's a little weird. Hmm, okay. Um, he's got this superior hearing factor, which gives him some health regen. And a couple uh, different... Um, canisters to throw out. I really do think they need to redo some of his powers. Uh, but I do like some of them. And I do like the way in the beginning he was just so slow. And he wouldn't move and he didn't have a really a lot of cool powers. But uh, once we got this awesome lunge of death unlocked and um, shoot all the bullets and the minigun, obviously the higher level powers, really makes him f it just makes him flow easier in combat. Where he moves around you know, I can stand in the back, I shoot, when the enemies come up, I can use my big stab of death. It's just, it's almost like he's, you know, he's got a purpose. It's not just clicking buttons. He's not just doing things. Um, as far as his ultimate power, it's server lag. I think we got this around level 30, 32 or something because he's not been standardized. Um, and basically, it gives you a weird little effect where um, it gives you like another little lag thing on the screen. Um, like it, you're losing connection, losing connection, and you get basically um, a huge damage rating for like 10 seconds, and then the enemy gets a huge damage rating for like 5 seconds. So it's kind of a trade-off type thing. It's kind of interesting, but it's just, it's a little weird. We'll go activate it um, here and, oh, I don't know, we'll find some place to activate it. 
probably back in Midtown here, our favorite little zone of all. Looking, uh, oh, we got some bosses moving. So you can see, nice, easy, smooth, you know, where he flows forward as opposed to, uh, you know, Rogue's power that really annoyed me when I was playing her. Um, did they kill all the bosses? No, they didn't. All right. So here we go. We're going to activate our ultimate power right here we go. So there you go. So we got this huge damage rating right now for like 10 seconds. Uh, you got this nice little graphic effect. Freezes all the enemies. Couldn't move on the screen or anything. And then, uh... So, yeah. It's, it's pretty interesting. I'm hoping one of the enemies kills me because I want him to actually kill me. I'm, and uh, so you can see the other power come into effect where... Of course, now that I'm trying to die, I won't die. The reason I'm not dying, you notice pretty good health regen is because uh, one of my passive powers gives me ability like every time I hit, I get like a whole bunch of health back. So when I use this minigun or whatever, I can just stand in the back and just light everybody up, not have to worry about health. One of them died. Where's the other one? There he is. Is our nice little minigun action on him here. Oh, that was not the minigun, that was the grenades. Alright, he's dead. And, uh, I think, yeah, we did get an EV. Look at that. And we're just using our minigun right now, mowing down enemies. Really nice. Really nice effect. Throwing a gas grenade there. And we'll take them out. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Alright. So you can see, we um, flow and forward. We come in. We, we do our big stab with our sword. We can stand in the back. We can activate our um, range powers here. Take out some of the minions and slide in there really quickly. And then do a nice slash with our attack. And go back to our, um, our guns. He's just got a really nice smooth animations between all of his characters. And then it makes you feel like you're actually uh, in the fight, actually, you know, fighting and um, doing all the work. You're not just pushing the buttons to activate skills and stuff. And it's very smooth and I uh, really like it, so it's nice. Much better than he was um, low level, when he was barely could move, didn't have any decent powers. Um, and I'm kind of, uh, it kind of brings me to another point in the... Uh, in, in the whole scheme of Marvel heroes right now. It's just the last, I don't know, 10, 15 heroes that I've played just seems like a, none of them are very good until you get to like th level 30 or 35 or 40 when you start unlocking some of the bigger powers. It just seems like, I don't know for whatever reason, but um, I hope they're not... It's just, it's going to be very hard to get new players in the game and enjoy them when they spend the first 20 levels where they can't move, they can't do anything cool or anything like that. And I uh, just hope they're not, they're thinking about this long term because, you know, if, if you're trying to get new players in the game and introduce them, and if I was a brand new player and I was started playing Deadpool here, spent all that money getting Deadpool or whatever, and to start playing them, and I'm like, man, uh, this is not very fun. He can't get anywhere. I mean, just the speed of his attacks now are so much faster than they were in the beginning. The way he moves around and how just everything about him is different from the beginning till the end here. And I'm just hoping that Marvel Heroes is aware that, man, they just got to... They got to make sure that the first 20 levels are as good as the last 20 levels or last 40 levels because, you know, you look at these beginning powers, they're just, you know, basic ranged attack, basic melee attack, stop, drop, and roll, um, you know, just another basic ranged attack, uh, another basic melee attack, basically. I mean, it does some bleed damage, but... Uh, you got a kick power, um, you know, and these are all your, these are the powers you're going to get until you're like level 20, 25, 30. And 
nobody wants to play anything where they can't move around and it takes forever to get anywhere and do anything. I am uh, got my super cool unmasked Deadpool unmasked outfit, so that's why he looks different than the other ones. I actually got that as a reward for something a while back. Um, so let's look at what we got here. Wow, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. It's not very good compared to our damage rating in, in, that we have. That's why I put that one in there. Look at that, 100 or 1,008. Um, let's see what else we have. Anything? Nope. Does um, yeah, just a generic gun there. Um, as far as artifacts, again, I didn't really min-max them. I kind of just as I found different items, I put them in there. Uh, if they made sense to them, and then as we found new ones, I would replace the older ones. Like this one is probably going to replace. This level 25. Sure, why not? Um, I haven't really min-maxed him again. I'm just trying to get the last little bit of heroes done. Speaking of heroes, you will notice we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 43 heroes. There are 43 heroes. You will notice on my roster, every single one of them is level 60 except for Venom. So we have one to go. And then there was one. One to go. January 4th, 2015. We're going to get him done today. We've got uh, Rogue done earlier. Then we got Deadpool. Dream all we have to do is finish up Venom. And we'll be caught completely up with all the heroes maxed out. I'm going to look at some of these old videos that I had posted and, and uh, gave you guys a while back. And I'm just going to look at them and all go and look at all the heroes that... <laughs> I don't have completed or I didn't own or anything and Could now just, hold this shopping list just a few short months later about six eight months later we've got them all done we got all the heroes we just need to get Venom done so that'll be our next goal uh, actually is to get Venom done today anyways that's neither here nor there that's uh, we'll be coming down the pipe with that as far as Deadpool goes as I mentioned oh first 30 levels are just painfully slow i was you know just i was gonna quit on him at level 30 and i was gonna say hey i'm not gonna do him until they standardize him with the level 52 standardization but i kept going with them just to, so i can complete the process and get everybody caught up um and i'm kind of glad i did because once i hit like i mentioned like once i hit uh shoot all the bullets um the not so many minigun and um, let's see the awesome lunge of death those three are kind of really good powers they really really made them flow a lot better in the beginning it was just so painful to play him it just wasn't fast he wasn't he wasn't doing anything he was just moving and attacking and punching and then moving and attacking and punching and it was just like boring as heck I need to make sure that the low level powers are just as good as the high level powers. That would be my advice to them because otherwise new players of the game are going to say I'm not going to waste my time spending two, three, four, six hours upgrading a guy just so he's halfway decent to play. But uh, I think he's pretty fun now. I do. Um, I was, like I said, I was going to quit on him and I decided not to and I'm glad I did. He's much better now. As you could see in the video, uh, a lot more interesting things going on with him power-wise. Like I mentioned, he does have some pretty cool uh, passive powers. And uh, there we go. He's got some pretty cool passive powers, which really help him out. Superior healing, you know, 176 health per second. Not bad. Regenerate 73 health when you defeat. And that's only with six points in it. We haven't really min-maxed our points, obviously. Um, the passive power here for more bullets gets you uh, restored 9 spirit per second when you're not using spirit spending powers. Some nice critical hit rating. 
some nice critical damage and of course look at that damage rating is if we look at our damage rating it is absolutely through the roof 3859 just on the front page defensively not so great um, which is just fine because you know here we regenerate 97 health when we hit with the basic power so um, every time we hit somebody with the basic power we regenerate health so I think there was something else that actually gives us some health regen on um, hitting with something. Hmm, not sure. Again, we haven't even really min-maxed him. We've still got a level 25. We did put some relics in for him. We don't have any, obviously, legendary. Our, our uh, uh, insignia's old, needs to be upgraded, um, which, you know, we'll do all that stuff now that he's up to level 60, but... It's just a matter of uh, working through and get him done. Get her done because we got one to go. Venom is next. Hopefully you guys will be waiting for that video because it'll be coming out hopefully soon. We're going to get these guys all done today. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you for the best episode ever which will be the next one where we get all of the heroes completed up to level 60. So we'll see you guys that time. Till then, take care.